Hey guys, uh, this is a little browser performance review for the ASUS ePad Transformer. Um, this is updated to Android 3.2.1 and uh, all the background applications are closed. So as you can see there's nothing in the background running right now. So what I'm going to do is going to go to different web pages and see how does the Android uh, perform with the hardware acceleration so this is a CNN web page loaded up right here I have that uh, flash plugin set to on demand and let's go to a link over here um, let's try let's try living right here hopefully you're gonna see some videos flash videos embedded in the web page uh, well there's nothing over here uh, how about we go to uh, our page like uh, Pocket Now, for example? Uh, it's a desktop version loading up right here, and because of the screen, it's like 1280 by 800. Um, you get the full web page. You don't have to zoom in, or um, as you can see, there's some um, checkerboarding while we go through the web page which is only available in this web page you know, pocket now I don't know if it's because of their methods of uh, web apps they are using in their website or what but the pinch and zoom is pretty smooth um, but you still got the checkerboards here and there and by the way I don't have the plugins loaded up right now so without plugin is still lagging so let's go to another web page um, let's go to Engadget and see how does it perform well I got a mobile version ok now you have the full desktop loaded up as you can see it's still loading but uh, you can navigate through the web page pretty easily and uh, pinch and zoom is pretty fast as well while the page is still loading that's because um, it's hardware accelerated and GPU is doing the work of rendering the 2D text and everything in there uh, let's go to a video okay As you can see, it's pretty smooth. I think we are having a trouble. Oh, there we go. In double tap. No. I have to go through the menus. Let's go to National Geographic video player. They uses the flash as well. I'll play a video. And as you can see, um, there's a little bit of sluttering here and there 
Um, nothing major. I don't know if it's the GPU or the OS itself, but um, it sometimes get really annoying. Most of the time, it's running pretty good. You cannot pinch and zoom in the video actually. You have to use the outside area to navigate. Okay, let's go to um, another heavy website. It's Phone Dog. A little bit of checkerboarding here and there. It's not as smooth as the iPad, but it's still pretty good. And let's see how the embedded YouTube videos plays in the browser. You'll see if it runs 720p in the web browser. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com and I'm back with the Samsung Stratosphere from Verizon Wireless. It's one of their new Android smartphones. It has a few key features. For one thing, it ships with Android 2.3, which is the latest version of Android that's available. Uh, it also uses 4G LTE network, and it has an excellent physical keyboard. So I've been testing this phone out. I'm going to do a full review, tell you guys what I think of it, the pros and the cons, and how it performs. Is this the one you should get, or should you jump up to one of those super phones that Verizon has with you know, a dual-core processor and large displays? That's what we're going to try to answer in the full review. Before we get on to that, I have to say especially to our friends at Best Buy Mobile. We thank them all the time because they send us free... It seems like we have a little trouble um, playing a YouTube video in 720p. Let's go to a YouTube website and see if we can play 720p with video. ...phones that we can add to our one paw Bandit game, which is a game where you guys can win free phones. That's what we use those phones for. One of the great things about Best Buy Mobile is they sell phones from every major U.S. carrier, including some prepaid carriers. So if you're caught con in one store. So thank you, Best Buy Mobile, for being so awesome. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's a review of the Samsung Stratosphere from Verizon Wireless. I'm Sydney from PhoneDoc.com. Let's go check it out. Okay, so let's get started with the Samsung Stratosphere from Verizon Wireless. This is a Galaxy S device. So it looks like uh, there's a lot of trouble while playing a 720p video in an ISUS uh, e -pad transformer. It's not as smooth as I thought it is, and um, there's a lot of improvement need to be done in the web browser section for this to be a daily driver. If you go to uh, application settings and see um, if I can find that tab, how much memory is available. So we got like 455 MB of RAM free uh, and only caches 146 megabytes. 
So there you have it. Asus ePad Transformer, the browser demo. Thanks for watching.